Excellent. So we're now uh, going to move to some brief opening remarks by uh, Joe Rigby. Uh, Joe is the president and CEO of Pepco Holdings, a regional energy holding company that provides utility services to about 2 million customers, including many of us in this room. Uh, Joe has a long history in energy, starting in his days at Atlantic City Energy in 1979, and he's been a major sponsor of innovation and a strong supporter of ARPA-E. Please join me in welcoming Joe Rigby. Hey, Joe, welcome. This is going to be quick because uh, I'm hungry and you're probably hungry too, so we'll try to move through this. But I want to thank you, Cheryl, uh, for the opportunity to be here, and it's a real pleasure for me to welcome you to the nation's capital. Uh, in particular, I want to mention that our subsidiary, Pepco, is very excited to be the host utility for this ARPA-E summit. In uh, late October 1969, uh, I would say two major miracles took place. Um, one was that the New York Mets won the World Series. Uh, the second one related to, which was probably more of a major miracle, was a link was established between the University of California in Los Angeles and the Stanford Research Institute in Menlo Park, and the internet was born. And that link was called ARPANET. And it was the result of visionary men and women working with the support of a government that understood the many transformational innovations simply could not rely on the market to secure their path through the earliest stages of research and development. And I believe we stand today at the threshold of similar transformational innovations in the energy arena. Electricity drove modernization and the economy, enabling the telegraph, the telephone, radio, and television, and the expansion of industry and business. It brought us new electrical appliances that improved the efficiency of homemaking and air conditioning that transformed living conditions both at home and at work. And those same forces of innovation and technology are once again changing our relationship with customers and the world we live in. Most significantly, electricity has powered global connectivity and the digital re revolution. These advancements have enabled the convergence of the electric system and information technology that will provide our customers with the enhanced information, services, and reliability that they expect in the 21st century. Speaking of my own company, which includes all the District of Columbia and portions of Delaware, Maryland, and New Jersey, we're staying focused on the customer by moving ahead with projects that increase system reliability and enhance customer service. We want to adopt the best mix of advanced technologies to meet our customers' energy goals whether it's helping them get more value for their electricity dollar or more productivity for their businesses. Pepco Holdings has installed 1.4 million smart meters throughout our Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Delaware service areas, and that number includes both electric and gas smart meter equipment. AMI can change the way utilities do things as we transition into a future of enhanced customer service, enhanced reliability, and improved energy efficiency. The smart grid combined with smart meters, creates a sophisticated network of automated digital devices that delivers real-time data to help customers manage their energy use more efficiently and assist in the integration of distributed renewable generation and electric vehicles. Going forward, we want to support the development of microgrids, which will increasingly be a solution for, for system resiliency. We don't look at distribution generation as a threat. We see it as a customer solution. We'll support and we'll pilot microgrid and distributed energy resources. And we will improve our external facing customer applications. It's important, however, that we lay the groundwork for rate structures to provide reasonable and timely recovery of that investment and ensure that zero usage customers pay for the use of the grid. Ultimately, what customers demand will drive innovation and change. It'll be up to us to design and build the innovations that will keep our nation supplied with secure, reliable, affordable, and increasingly clean electricity. Each electric utility is using new technology in ways that make the most sense for their customers, their region, and the evolution of their existing power networks. To do all this, we need partners, and ARPA is a very important partner in our industry. This summit's ambitious agenda will touch on some of those transformational innovations and as they supply as they apply to carbon capture, gas extraction and utilization, alternate transportation, energy efficiency, solar power, and the grid. 
As energy innovators, it's up to us to think of new and better ways to meet the needs of our customers in more efficient and environmentally friendly ways. Pepco Holdings welcomes this transition to the utility of the future. As the grid operator, we see our role as the energy delivery superhighway, integrating new technologies to the benefit of our customers and to the environment. But for today, we'll simply make sure that the lights stay on so you can help us see how we will light the future. And with that, thanks so much, and best wishes for a successful and productive summit. Thanks so much.